This is a recast of the 3100-word piece, Policy Gradient, from GPT-5. Let's listen in. The article we read delves into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and machine learning, specifically focusing on an area known as reinforcement learning, or RL. This is where an agent learns to act in an environment to maximize the cumulative reward. Notably, this method stands out because it doesn't rely on labeled data, but instead learns from interacting with its environment. Within RL, a prominent technique is called policy gradient methods. Now these methods offer a framework for directly optimizing the policy, the strategy that the agent follows to make decisions. Unlike traditional approaches that try to maximize a value function, policy gradient methods focus on optimizing the policy itself, leading to greater flexibility and effectiveness in complex environments. They use something called gradient asset algorithms to adjust the parameters of a policy so that the expected reward is maximized. Now, why is this important? Well, these methods allow solutions for problems previously considered too complex like automation and robotics, playing complex games like Go or chess at master level and development autonomous vehicles. That's just scratching the surface. Reinforcement learning also involves understanding concepts such as agents, policies, rewards, and value functions. An agent is the entity making decisions and carrying out actions in an environment to maximize rewards. The environment defines the state space, actions the agent can carry out and rewards given for various state action pairs. Now, a policy is the strategy used by the agent to decide which action should be carried out in each state of the environment. The reward is a feedback signal from the environment that tells the agent the consequences of his actions. And finally, there's the value function which estimates the expected cumulative future reward that an agent can get starting from a particular state and adhering to a particular policy. Now let's go back to policy gradient methods. These methods stand out because they directly optimize the policy that the agent uses to make decisions. Contrary to other RL methods that optimize the value function, policy gradient methods focus on adjusting the parameters of a policy function so that the expected reward is maximized. This method proves particularly helpful in scenarios where actions are continuous or policy modeling is complex. Interestingly, these methods differ from value-based approaches as they are optimizing towards different goals. Value-based approaches aim to maximize the value function that estimates the expected cumulative reward of a state, whereas policy gradient methods aim to directly optimize the policy irrespective of the value function. But like any method, policy gradient methods have their pros and cons. They can work effectively in high-dimensional or continuous action spaces where value-based methods struggle. They offer a natural way to learn stochastic policies which can be advantageous in many RL problems and can lead to more stable and robust learning processes, especially in complex environments. Although they bring numerous benefits to table, they also come with challenges such as high variance in gradient estimates, which can slow down the learning process and often require careful tuning of hyperparameters and efficient implementation to achieve viable learning rates. Continuing forward, there's also discussion about core concepts and algorithms such as reinforce algorithm and actor critic methods, which combine the benefits of policy gradient approaches with value-based approaches. Then there are advanced policy gradient techniques which address specific challenges in applying policy gradient methods, such as ensuring the stability and efficiency of the learning process. The article also breaks down how policy gradient methods have been used in gaming, robotics, and optimization of trading strategies. It shows us how these methods have not only solved traditionally difficult tasks in games and robotics, but also optimized processes in complex and dynamic areas, such as the financial market. Lastly, it delves into the challenges and ongoing research topics in this area, such as ensuring stability and convergence of policy gradient methods, striking a balance between exploration and exploitation, and transfer learning and generalization across different environments and tasks. The article certainly provides a comprehensive insight into policy gradient methods within reinforcement learning. It emphasizes how these methods contribute in expanding the boundaries of what can be achieved with AI, while underlining that with their continued integration into broader AI systems comes great responsibility. It's crucial to consider their ethical and societal implications to ensure their positive development and application. That's it for today. 